This video is for educational purposes only. We do not condone or promote any illegal activities. Today, we're diving into Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, with 10 free tools that uncover information on Snapchat. Let's go. Our first tool is built right into Snapchat itself, SnapMap. This feature is more than just a fun way to see where your friends are hanging out. It's a powerful real-time window into the world, accessible to anyone with the app. SnapMap is essentially a live global map of public activity. For OSINT investigators, it's a gold mine of information, offering a unique look at what's happening anywhere on the planet right now. Every colored hotspot, every marker, represents real people sharing real moments as they unfold. Anyone who posts to our story or the public map has their content pinned to a specific location. This means you can see exactly where a snap was taken, down to the street or even the building. It's like having a network of citizen reporters, all contributing to a constantly updating map. Imagine being able to monitor major events as they unfold. Protests, concerts, natural disasters, gathering geographical intelligence in real time. You can track public movements, spot trends, and even anticipate where things might happen next. Investigators use SnapMap to verify locations, confirm the authenticity of posts, or discover new information that hasn't yet made the news. It's a way to cross-reference what you see online with what's actually happening on the ground. For example, during a major event, you can view it from hundreds of different perspectives. Each snap offers a unique angle, helping you piece together a fuller, more accurate picture, often capturing details that news crews or official sources might miss entirely. You're not just scrolling through party videos or selfies. You're looking for crucial details, street signs, company logos, unique landmarks, or even weather conditions that can help you pinpoint locations or verify timelines. In essence, SnapMap turns everyday social media posts into a tool for digital forensics, but on a truly global scale. It's like having access to a live, crowdsourced surveillance network. You can search for keywords related to events, places, or even specific topics, and the map will highlight activity heat maps. This lets you zero in on hotspots of activity, making it easier to focus your investigation. What's fascinating is that this isn't a hack or a workaround. It's simply using a feature for a purpose its creators may never have fully anticipated, turning a social tool into an investigative powerhouse. For anyone starting out in Snapchat OSINT, SnapMap is the first and most fundamental tool you'll use. It's the gateway to a world of open source intelligence, and it's available to anyone willing to look a little deeper. But SnapMap is just the beginning. The next tool takes this a step further, unlocking even more possibilities for digital investigation. Have a username? Snap username lookup tools are your answer. These web-based utilities act like a search engine for Snapchat profiles. Plug in a username and they pull up associated public profile information. They confirm if a username is valid and pull the user's public display name, Bitmoji, and snap code. This is crucial for building a profile. Investigators verify if a username is active on major platforms like Snapchat. A successful hit confirms the person's presence and gives a visual identifier, the Bitmoji. These tools automate the process, presenting information in a clean format. A username lookup is the cornerstone of many investigations. Every Snapchat user is assigned a unique QR code, known as a snap code. This little pattern of dots and shapes is more than just a fun way to add friends. It's a digital fingerprint, a gateway to your online persona. Snap codes are everywhere, quietly linking the physical and digital worlds. Snap code decoders are specialized tools that can read a snap code from any image and extract the user profile that's linked to it. These decoders work by analyzing the unique arrangement of dots and shapes, translating them into a digital identity. Imagine stumbling across a snap code online. Maybe it's hidden in a forum post, shared on a social media feed, or even flashed for a split second in a YouTube video. These codes can appear anywhere, often without the user realizing the potential consequences. With a snap code decoder, all you need to do is upload the image. In seconds, the tool reveals the corresponding Snapchat username, connecting the code to a real person's profile. It's a process that feels almost magical, but it's rooted in clever technology. Think of it as reverse engineering a key to discover which door it unlocks. The snap code is the key, and the decoder finds the door, your profile, on the vast landscape of Snapchat. This technology bridges the gap between an anonymous avatar and a real identity, turning what seems like a random pattern into a direct link to someone's digital life. Decoders essentially mimic the Snapchat camera's function, 
using computer vision to analyze the precise pattern of dots and shapes. They break down the code, piece by piece, until the hidden information is revealed. Once decoded, these tools query Snapchat's database to find the matching user profile, connecting the dots between the code and the person behind it. This technique is a staple in digital investigations, used by cybersecurity experts, digital forensics teams, and even curious individuals trying to uncover hidden identities. A fleeting mistake, like accidentally posting your snap code, can unravel an entire identity, exposing personal information to anyone with the right tools. Even features designed for convenience or fun can be leveraged for information gathering, turning harmless interactions into potential vulnerabilities. That's why being aware of your digital footprint is absolutely critical. Understanding how these tools work empowers you to protect your privacy in an increasingly connected world. What if we could search for Snapchat content across the internet? Enter social search engines. These specialized search engines crawl and index public information from social media platforms, including Snapchat. They aggregate data from public stories, Snap Map, and more. Instead of manually searching, use these engines to find public Snapchat content. They create a historical database of public social media activity. Even after a story disappears, traces might exist within these engines. It's the ultimate tool for cross-platform analysis. Snapchat stories disappear after 24 hours, but public story downloaders save them forever. These tools allow you to download video or image files from public Snapchat stories. Downloaded stories can be analyzed frame by frame, zooming in on details. Investigators can look for reflections, text, or logos. Details missed in casual viewing. Downloaders intercept media files as they load in your browser. They archive ephemeral media for later analysis. Downloaded stories become digital evidence. They can be scrutinized, cataloged, and used to build a case. These downloaders are essential for serious OSINT on Snapchat. Every digital photo and video contains metadata, a digital fingerprint. Metadata extractors read this file and show hidden information. While Snapchat strips some data, metadata can include device make, model, and timestamps. This information is valuable for verifying authenticity or finding technical clues. Investigators use this to verify photo authenticity or find clues. Metadata analysis is fundamental in digital forensics. Reverse image search is a powerful tool for OSINT. Upload an image and the search engine finds where else it appears. This connects a Snapchat profile to the rest of the web. An anonymous Snapchat account's picture can link to a Facebook or LinkedIn account. A single image can shatter anonymity. Reverse image search isn't just for people. It can identify locations or find other photos from the same spot. Hackers and investigators use this constantly. It's a fundamental OSINT technique. The more unique the image, the more effective the search. This turns the internet into your investigation database. It all starts from a single snap. Imagine you're trying to track down someone online, but all you have is their email address. It might seem like a dead end, but in reality, that single piece of information can open up a world of possibilities. That's where email to Snapchat finders come into play. These specialized tools are designed to bridge the gap between an email address and a Snapchat profile, making the process much more efficient. Essentially, these scripts or programs work by checking if a particular email is associated with a Snapchat account. They automate what would otherwise be a tedious manual process. The most common method involves exploiting the forgot password feature on Snapchat's login page. By entering the email, the system's response can reveal if the account exists. If Snapchat sends a password reset link to that email, it's a clear sign that the email is registered with an active Snapchat account. This technique is especially valuable for investigators who have access to email lists from data breaches or leaks. It allows them to quickly check which emails are tied to Snapchat. By identifying which emails are linked to active accounts, investigators can prioritize their efforts and focus on the most relevant leads, saving time and resources. Some advanced tools even utilize Snapchat's API when accessible to directly pull associated usernames, making the connection between email and profile even more precise. This process effectively links an email address to a specific Snapchat profile, providing a crucial piece of the puzzle in digital investigations. However, it's important to proceed with caution. Using these methods can sometimes trigger security alerts or violate terms of service, so ethical and legal considerations are essential. Ultimately, confirming that an email is tied to a Snapchat account can provide critical intelligence, helping investigators build a clearer picture of a person's online presence and connections.
A phone number is a direct identifier and phone number to Snapchat. Finders check if it's linked to an account. These tools interact with Snapchat's system for user convenience. By inputting a phone number, they check if it's associated with an account. If it finds a match, it might return the display name and username. This technique is used to identify suspects or connect contact information to a social media persona. A phone number is often linked to many accounts, making it a central hub of identity. These tools can check large lists of numbers automatically. It's an industrial scale intelligence gathering operation. It all starts with a simple phone number. What happens when a user changes their Snapchat username? Username history trackers monitor changes over time. These services record changes to Snapchat usernames. Even if someone changes their username, these tools reveal old usernames. This is the ultimate tool for tracking someone trying to evade detection. History trackers keep a log of username changes. They build a massive historical database of username changes. This connects a current persona to a past one. A username history tracker links new accounts to old ones. It creates a permanent record. These tools are part of professional OSINT suites. They demonstrate that on the internet, very little is truly forgotten. There you have it, 10 insane free Snapchat OSINT tools. From SnapMap to username history trackers, we've seen that what happens on Snapchat doesn't always stay there. Knowledge is power, and understanding these tools is the first step to protecting your privacy. Use them responsibly and ethically. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay curious, see you in the next one.